Hello and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial I will show how to open LEGO Digital Designer models in 3D Studio Max. Here is the list of the programs that I will use. Oh, my windows uh, turned into the simpler aero mode, no problem. So this is the list of the programs that I will use in this tutorial. I use 3D Studio Max 2009 64-bit uh, version, LEGO Digital Designer and uh, 3D via print screen. So I will rip the LEGO Digital Designer model uh, from uh, so I will okay so I will uh, rip the LEGO Digital Designer model with 3D via print screen and uh, with an additional importer I will open it in 3D Studio Max okay let's start it open LEGO Digital Designer I have a ready-made model and I will show you on that model uh, robot robot model I made only from designed by me uh, bricks and items okay let's open it So this is our model and I will open it in 3D Studio Max but I will need 3D via print screen uh, and uh, I will explain some of the settings in 3D via print screen because the default settings are maybe not good for me or for us. Okay, uh, basically the print screen hotkey is not I, it's uh, basically F10. Uh, I set it to I because uh, F10 stops the record. Uh, I am using uh, Camtasia Studio 6 for recording this video. So I set it to I. Output folder is good, it will be in my documents and in my 3D XML files. If I set preview, it automatically opens the ribbed model in 3D via XML player. I don't want to do it because uh, opening that the file is a little bit slow, so I disable this. Automatic file naming uh, is good. Um, and I don't switch this out, I don't disable this option, let's check it, it names the files like this, so the exa name and the date and the time, it's good for us, I think. Uh, the other option is capture of textures, we can enable this too. It uh, writes files generated are heavier when this option is enabled, of course, because it captures the textures and the size will be bigger, but it's not a problem. And also in LEGO Digital Designer there are not many textures, only colors. The only textured thing is, is the body of this guy, I think maybe some other ah no no just that just only that only that okay group by textures this means it will group uh, the model parts by textures but i don't want to enable this i will explain later why okay so let's do this
So I will rip this model, but uh, first, of, uh, but uh, I need to close Lego Digital Designer because uh, I af I uh, opened 3D via print screen after uh, opening Lego Digital Designer. So don't do that. So first open 3D via print screen and then Lego Digital Designer and it will work uh, when, when the software rip the model we will see the progress in this area I will uh, check the settings again because I don't want preview uh, this is slow I don't like it okay so this is our model the big question is how to rip this model because okay I'll show you here is uh, this view for example and I rip this model you can see the progress here but the problem is when you open this in 3D Studio Max with uh, the importer in the top view you will see exactly this which is not good for us so what to do always rip the models in top view as well as possible so try to set your uh, lego digital designer camera to a top view like this it will be good rip again sometimes it don't want to rip I don't know why I pressed letter I twice and uh, it ripped the model only second time but it's not a big problem for us okay we ripped the model okay let's talk about the additional importer for 3D Studio Max so we have the model now in 3D XML format but uh, 3D Studio Max doesn't support this format so we have to get an importer for it let's see open a browser I use my personal favorite Google Chrome and uh, let's check this site here are some stuffs by Koichi Sanada and uh, there is a folder 3D Studio Max open it now mm, this is weird okay no problem and you can see 3D as Max converter convert XML and there are some stuffs here uh, by date different versions of this converter and I will use the latest latest one okay here is it oh there is a 3d XML file here too that wasn't here some days ago I think oh no it's not true it made me in 2009 okay I don't know how it's possible I didn't uh, realized it no problem okay and uh, some important things let's see the readme file because it's really important how to install this plugin for example hmm. Hmm. window resizing it doesn't work here no problem this is the compatibility list uh, you can use this plugin for these versions of 3d studio max so autodesk 3d studio max 9 2008 and 2009 so download this and follow the instructions that you can see here first of all you can you have to copy the script to the UI folder from the archive uh, you can find UI folder in here of course if you use 3D Studio Max 2009 
that this will be 3DS Max 2009. So UI, which means user interface, because uh, the script will add you a new user interface for you. This is a macro script, and uh, you have to uh, do this. Go to customize, customize user interface, choose the tab what you like, um, keyboard or toolbars or quads or menus. Uh, I do I did it in quads and uh, I added uh, this uh, new stuff to my quad menu. Then choose category which is Canada. And you will see this. I did it. Uh, you will see in my quad menu when I open it. Uh, when I open my 3D Studio Max. Let's see. Okay, the other things are not uh, very important, I think, because it will work well with these settings. You also need 3D via print screen. The Ripper program you can download it from here. This is a free software. This uh, script is also free. And Lego Digital Designer is also free. The only not free stuff is 3D Studio Max. Uh, I don't know, is there any uh, similar stuff for Blender? Maybe there is, but I didn't know. I'm not sure about it. No problem. Let's see what we did in 3D Studio Max. And also I will show how to use this macro script, this additional user interface, which works very well and it will bring you almost exactly that you did it in what you did in Lego Digital Designer. The only thing what you don't will don't get the materials, I mean the colors, but you can do it very easily. It's very simple to fix this problem in 3D Studio Max. Uh, sorry for these errors. Anyway, I have some corrupted plugins and other stuffs in my 3D Studio Max, but I was lazy to fix them. Sometimes I'm lazy. No problem. Here is our 3D Studio Max. It loads. So slowly, but no problem.